Hey baseball fans and welcome to this year's TheSportsCycle.com's Baseball Preview. I'm your host Donnie Dwyer. Let's get into the NL East. First let's start with the Phillies. They have four number one starters who are extreme caliber. Cliff Lee, Roy Halladay, Roy Oswalt, Cole Hamels. That's going to get them at least 100 wins this year, if not the best team in baseball. Not to mention they have an offense that will win them games too with, with uh, Howard and Victorino and Utley. Now the question is how, how healthy can Chase Utley stay? Now, my key for this season, though, for the Phillies is their third base and right field production. With Polanco out for a while and without Jason Worth coming back, signing with the Nationals, they're not going to be able to get that production they had last year. But my thing is, they got the four starters. They should be solid coming into this year. Next is the Florida Marlins. They have the youngest team in baseball, tons of youth movements. Uh, you look at jo Josh Johnson. You look at... You look at Hanley Ramirez, you look at the Chris Coglin, you look at their young players who have been producing over the years. And my key positions that need to be looked out this year for the Marlins is their pitching and their center field play. They just got rid of Cameron Mabin, so center field will be taken by Chris Coglin, who's had a series of injuries and might not even be healthy. And you look at the pitching, if you got Javier Vasquez, who was terrible in New York, he's ha had terrible New York stints, if he comes in and wins 17 games like he did with the Braves a few years ago, I honestly can see this Marlins team being a sleeper in the division. Not to mention, I was talking about youth, Mike Stanton, a guy in ESPN.com fantasy numbers, has said this guy's going to predict 36 home runs, a young, talented right-hander who can play the outfield and play with tons of talent. Should be interesting to watch what he can do this year. I think that's what you want to watch for if you're the Florida Marlins. Next, you switch over to the New York Mets, and it's a season of what-ifs. And what I mean by what-ifs, I mean what's going to happen. Can Johan Santana be healthy? Can R.A. Dickey reserve form like last year? Can Jason Bay hit more than 20 home runs? Can David Wright not strike out 100 times? Can Reyes come back? That's my question with the Mets. If everything goes well, they win the division. If everything doesn't, they lose. Interesting to see what Terry Collins will do with that lineup. Now we switch over to the Braves. They're in a season without Bobby Cox, the leading manager who's won so many games, a definitely Hall of Famer. Now they're bringing Freddie Gonzalez, the guy who was in the Marlins system, and, and you know him and Hanley Ramirez had issues last year. Should be interesting to see what happens there. Chipper Jones, the third baseman, will have a chip on his shoulder. Went out last year with an injury. He's going to come back. He's batting over 400 in spring training. Should be interesting to see what he brings to the table. And can they be consistent? Can the Atlanta Braves be able to come in to the season and say, we're going to have Hayward, we're going to have all the players with Chipper Jones and McCann behind them to be able to win ball games with their pitching in Tim Hudson? That should be interesting down in Atlanta, Georgia. And the Washington Nationals. They're trying to keep competitive. I love that about this team. They bring in LaRoche. They bring in Worth to a huge deal. Rick Ankeel, and they have Ryan Zimmerman. But the key to them is they have to keep developing talent. When you have young players like Jordan Zimmerman, Espinosa, Roger Bernardina, Wilson Ramos, and Drew Storen, their, their closer, you got to develop these guys before you can be talented. Now, I'm not saying this team can't win 80 games, but I highly doubt that, and I really think that this team is going to need to develop those players to win ball games in the future. That's how it comes to my standings right now. I say the Phillies take that easily. Braves come in second. Mets come in third. If not, could be the last team in that division. Fourth will be the Marlins, and fifth will be the Washington Nationals. And that's it for the NL East here on the Sports Cycle. Check out, check out more on every single division on www.thesportscycle.com. In Studio 6 of Johnston Hall on Marquette University, I'm Donnie Dwyer. Have a good night, folks.